Accurate and Separation Studio, The Basics, with Heather and Bill, presented by Advanced Screen Technologies, Inc. Hello, this is Heather with Advanced Screen, and I'm here with Bill. Say hi, Bill. Hi. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to go to the file menu, um, and then you're going to go to setup. And there, the first thing it, that's going to pop up with is uh, what printer do you have? Uh, we have the Epson 1430, so that's what we're going to select. Um, but you have options of almost every Epson printer. They're all listed online um, as well to make sure you can find out um, if it's going to work for your printer or not. But we have the Epson 1430. Um, next, you need to select the media, so whether you're using a roll or a sheet. Now, with the Epson 1430, we cannot use a roll, um, so we'll be using a sheet. And right now, we're set up with a 13 by 18. Um, but you can set, select almost any um, size, whether it's letter size, 13 by 19. Um, so down from there, you then will go to your ink setup. Um, most people just would have the standard inks in their printer. Um, if you're using just the inks that came with your printer, you would leave this uh, section alone. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to force your system to only use the black cartridge instead of the other ink cartridges because even though you're printing black out in your on your computer saying I'm just printing black out to the film. Uh, there's a lot of different shades of black and so it's still going to be putting the magenta and the cyan and the yellow in there. So by ha not having that selected with, in using Accurip, it's going to force it to only use the black cartridge. Um, if we do have the all black system set up, which we do, you'll then collect the multi-black and then uh, it'll then give you the option to have standard ink coverage, less ink, or more ink. I go with the standard ink and then you just want to make sure that all of the cartridges that you have available have been selected. And we do have that. And then you'll pick the printer resolution. Um, I've never had a need to increase it at all. You can if you are noticing a problem with your resolution. We keep ours at the 720 DPI by 720 DPI. Um, as you can see, you can go up quite a bit uh, higher. Again, pretty unnecessary. The max I would probably go up to is the 1440 by 720. Uh, but today we'll be sticking with the 720 by 720. Next, you'll set up your droplet weight. Um, we have ours set to 12. We have option anywhere from uh, 1 to 15. Um, and the best way to find out which is best for you is under, if we go back to the original, um, the first one we were under, file, it'll give you the half tone test print and then the droplet weight, which is a density test print. And once you do that, um, it'll print off for you. If you want to grab this one behind you, I actually printed one off already. And so this one is going to show us droplet 1 all the way through 15. And so you can see anywhere from about 12, 11 almost, all the way down to 15, gave us just what we needed. But by doing anything higher than 12, you're going to notice that you're wasting a lot of ink. It's unnecessary to get that dark if you're already reaching it at 12. Everything before 12, you're noticing you can really see through it, a lot of lines through there. Um, <clears throat> And so you're not going to be able to block the UV um, like you're wanting to. So after you find out what best fits you, and ours is 12, that's what you'll select. Um, next you'll go to the second uh, section, which is how uh, your printer's connected. We have ours on uh, Wi-Fi, so it's just through the network. Your other selection is local. Um, and then you can do a test print to make sure everything's working right. Um, the next section is how would you like um, this screened, and this is where you select um, how you want your half tones, what shape you want it, what angle you want it at, and the frequency you're going to be having it at. Um, to lock it in, you click lock screens, and what this will do is it will override um, Illustrator, Photoshop, Corel, whatever program you're using. It's going to override and always do it at this angle and this shape. And then from there, you just click OK and you're all set up. After this, um, you can do a half tone test, and what this will do is it'll do um, a test of 10% all the way to 100% on the half tones, so, so you can make sure you're getting the detail you want. So after you're done, you just exit out and you never have to touch it again. You're done. It runs in the background, and what it's going to do is it's going to set up a printer. Um, so when you do go to print, instead of clicking Epson 1430 as your printer, you'll be clicking Accurate to Epson 1430. And that's going to pretty much tell the, your program that needs to go through Accurate first and then to your printer. So that way it's going to communicate to the printer the settings that you've created.
Um, next we'll do a job in Separation Studio. We're going to do uh, Marilyn Monroe, a job we've done previously. <clears throat> and this one's just going to be a simple four color. Um, it's a black and white with um, red lips, so it'll be pretty simple. Um, but So we're just going to open up the TIFF file. You can use a TIFF or JPEG. Um, and you're just going to upload it into Separation Studio. Um, now we've chose our ground color as black, and that's pretty much just setting the color shirt you're going to be um, using. And then, um, so now it's given us our proof positive, and then it's given us our white base, red, blue, gold, purple, green, turquoise, gray, and then our highlight white. Now each one you click on will just show you that particular color. As you can see, blue has nothing, gold has nothing, purple kind of, but not enough for us to really keep. Um, if you click on the image, right click, you'll see view it as film and it'll tell you exactly what your film output should look like. We like every single piece, right? Exactly like we want it to. That's how we want it to print, right? So then now we're going to go to File. We're going to Save As. And then we're going to save this as... We say this MM1. Or 5, I guess. And then we'll just save that to my Marilyn Monroe folder. save. And now that we have it saved, we just exit out of this. We're done. And then now we go into uh, whether you for Illustrator or Corel, we're going to be using Illustrator today. Um, and you'll go to File, and you'll be selecting Open, and you'll collect your original TIFF that we had. And you're just going to open it up in here. Alright, so here's that original file that we have. Now over here we have links and so now you're going to select your image and down where this little chain link is you're going to link it and now we're linking it to the EPS file that we just did in Separation Studio. Click place, give it a moment it's actually going to end up um, linking it up to or um, combining it with the original TIFF. Um, so now it's taken, now it's all linked in. have that done we go back to file go back to print and double check it we like that and then 13 by 19 double check it separations um, oh that's one thing I forgot okay so on the registration we want to make sure that the color is going to be um, instead of black we want to have it as it's called registration and that means it's going to print on every single film instead of otherwise it's going to try and create a black film that's just going to try and print on so by doing this, it's just going to make sure that it's actually doing registration and it's going to print on every page. So now that we have that done, now we can go to print. So this is where I was talking about how we're going to go to Accurate to Epson 1430. And then now we have the capability to go to separations. Now that we have separations, you want to go down here and make sure the printer is only on the ones that you want. So because we did it through separations and made sure that we didn't have any of the process colors. We only had the red, the highlight white, the base white, um, and the gray. That's going to be what it's under. And it's actually labeled which one is first, second, third, and fourth. And now it's just going to print every single page out. Um, once it is done, it will go into your job history in Accurate. So if you ever want to go back and reprint a previous job, just go right here, right click, and you can reprocess the job. Um, instead of having to go through the entire process again if you didn't save it or anything like that, it's saved right in here. Um, and then you're done. And that's it. Feel free to visit us at advancedscreenprintsupply.com. Thank you and have a great day.